Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to share with you my matte lipsticks and my cream finish lipstick collection. You all know I love a good summer seasonal color palette collection and this is the cream and matte portion of my lipstick collection. Got a lot to cover, so let's get into the video. Cream finish lipsticks, medium coverage. You can build them up to a full opaque cover. Standard in the middle, cream or satin finish. So let's start off with this one here on top. Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick in the shade Angel neutral leaning warm. I need to let this further dry down, see what it's gonna do. I'm gonna check it out on my hand. For me and my personal taste, this is a little too warm. I like this nice white brightening base. It has, it's not going to be like a chalky white, soft muted autumn or light spring. Let's take a look at a few similar colors. They are minerals. Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick. This is the shade Grace. Bare Minerals Grace is similar to Huda Beauty, although it feels a touch deeper and slightly more rosy. Fascinating, it almost looks like it's a fraction cooler. This feels like a neutral. As of right now, this is gonna be more neutral to warm, this is gonna be more neutral to cool, which makes me immediately wanna put this in soft muted summer. A similar color, I need to throw this away. This is from the Hermes Fall Winter 2020 collection. I purchased this because Dr. Sam mentioned this is one of her favorite nudes. Rouge Hermes Satin Finish and number 45 Rose Ombre. Oh wow, compared to these, the Huda Beauty definitely feels warm. You can see that warmth kind of brightening and lifting it off the page. Still muted. I need something more cool toned. Let's go for my default. MAC Love Me Lipstick in the shade Laissez Faire. Very cool toned, almost gray lipstick. Here with the MAC Love Me Lipstick in Laissez Faire, you can see how it absorbs the light. It pulls away from the camera. Whereas Huda Beauty has a mix of a white base and a warmer undertone. So there's a higher concentration of yellow, which helps towards the camera. MAC Love Me Lipstick in the shade Laissez Faire. Great soft muted summer lipstick. Hermes in Rose Ombre. Soft autumn or deep dark autumn. Bare Minerals Mineralist Lipstick. Get it on the back of my hand. Bare Minerals Grace, Hermes Rose Ombre, and MAC Love Me Lipstick in Laissez Faire. Laissez Faire feels very cool toned. Hermes is pulling slightly more neutral. Bare Minerals, depending on how colors pull, that is either going to be considered a neutral or a neutral warm. And then Huda Beauty Love Me Lipstick is a pure warm. So Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick in Angel is going to go light spring. Bare Minerals Mineral Lipstick in the shade Grace, Soft Autumn. MAC Love Me Lipstick, Soft Summer. Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick, Cream Formula in the shade 473 Movie Night. It's gonna be a nice vampy color for a soft muted summer. Great kind of Wednesday Adams-esque colors for a deep dark winter as well. So that's beautiful. That's that's really pretty. And that makes me want to take a look at another color. Maybelline Color Sensational Cream Formula in number 445 on the mauve you can definitely see how muted it is compared to the Movie Night from Revlon. I'm gonna let both Maybelline on the Mauve and the Revlon Movie Night hang out in soft summer. Maybelline Color Sensational Cream Lipstick 235 Warm Me Up. I had just moved to Canada. I was really getting into YouTube and that is when I discovered Tati Westbrook, who was still Glam Life guru and she raved about this color so i remember i went to canadian superstore to getting groceries and i was in the beauty section i saw this i'm like oh my goodness tati talked about this color so that was the very first time i bought this and here we are over six years later and i still have one in my collection neutral cool mauve pink 
pink. Such a beautiful, easy to wear shade. This is going to be one of those colors that is beautiful for soft muted summer or soft muted autumn. Deep dark winter, deep dark autumn could use this, but again, you're gonna wanna add a lip liner to add a little bit of richness and really pull in those deeper aspects of the color palette. One of my favorites, Maybelline Color Sensational Cream Formula 015 Born With It. Totally transparent. I purchased this because of the name. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Sheer pink. That is so easy to wear. This is great for a light summer or a soft muted summer. It's going to be too warm for a cool true summer. Since this is a color I wear so frequently, this is going to be my first light summer cream finish lipstick. Oh, one of my favorites. This is the MAC Satin Finish Lipstick in the shade Faux Tilbury Makeup Tutorial. My favorite cooler toned Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Alternative. I wouldn't say it's a dupe because the colors are different. This is going to be more of a cream finish where the original Pillow Talk is a matte finish MAC satin lipstick in the shade Faux. I really love it for soft muted summers. MAC amplified creme lipstick in the shade Cosmo. That little bit more of warmth come through, the way that just kind of lifts off the page a little. The amplified formula compared to the satin formula, it's a lot more creamy. You have a lot more viscosity and heft to it. Almost like a hybrid of the satin and the creme sheen formula. I am going to, once again, keep this in soft muted summer. I do find on my lips, this does pull warmer than it does on the page. It's another shade that could teeter into soft muted autumn, as well as deep dark winter and deep dark autumn. Amplified lips in the shade Blankety. One of my favorites. This is kind of like my replacement for NARS Cruising. My modernized version of a pale beigey lip. Strong, almost purpley putty gray coming through. If we look at my beige lipsticks, we have NARS Cruising, which you can pick up on that kind of more beige pink Chanel Boy from the Rouge Coco Flash. And here we have the MAC Amplified Lipstick in Blankety. Compared to Laissez Faire down here, they're similar, except Laissez Faire does pull slightly more rosy when it's on the lip. This is also gonna go into Soft Muted Summer. This was gonna be my exercise to like prove to myself I have enough cool summer and light summer lipsticks. And now I feel like I have a lot of soft summer lipsticks. I'm like, oh, I need to shop for some more but no, I do not need to shop. We will work with what I have. Next, we have a creme sheen lipstick in Modesty. This is a classic from MAC. I was recently watching hair videos from Abby Young and one of her makeup videos popped up and she mentioned how Modesty was one of her favorite lipsticks. And Modesty is a lipstick I have gifted my Grammy for years. My Grammy is a deep winter and she wears Modesty as like her everyday, my lips but better color. A little bit more of a neutral, pink mauve brown easy color to wear this is to go into soft summer but it's also extremely wearable and very lovely on deep dark winter final mac lipstick in this bin creme sheen lipstick in the shade creme cup there is no words for how many of these i've been through the years i remember when i worked for mac i had saved up my back to max the way back to mac used to work is for every six empties you could exchange them for a full-size lipstick or if you you went to a MAC store, like a freestanding MAC store, you could do a lipstick, a lip gloss, like a standard lip glass formula, or a single eyeshadow in the Pro Pan. Once I exchanged six empty creme cups for a new creme cup, if that tells you how fast I went through creme cup. We have our second light summer color. A little bit more of a warm pink with a beigey undertone. Beautiful for light summer or light spring. Urban Decay WeHo lipstick in WeHo. It's an acronym for West Hollywood. Urban Decay Vice lipstick in WeHo. It's similar to MAC Creme Cup, be slightly deeper and there's a little bit more of a blue cool undertone. Pushing into the true cool undertone. This would do really well for a light summer, but I feel like with the right lip liner, this could also be really pretty for a cool, true summer. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Merit lipstick. All the other lipsticks I have in here are in groups of two. Lipstick Noah's Ark. <laughs> so this is a Merit signature lip in the shade Millennial. Millennial is... 
in that same scheme of things, I buy little mauve, little pink, little brown with a hint of red. My comfort zone, a My Lip Sweat Better, some variation of a natural mid-tone, neutral pinky lip color. <laughs> the Merit Signature Lip again, this is gonna be great for a soft muted summer or deep dark winter with a little bit of lip liner finesse. You could make this work for soft muted autumn or soft muted summer. I really like the formula. I just wish Merit would come out with some more cool toned colors. And that's something I have found a lot. A lot of brands will have cool toned colors, but a lot of times the cool toned colors are not purely cool toned. They'll be either neutral or neutral cool. And my theory is there tends to be a lot more warmer elements to the skin. Warmer colors have that higher aroma. They have that higher color value that comes forward. It feels more lively. It's slightly more inviting feeling. So a lot of colors that are called cool tones will have a little bit of that yellowy pigment mixed in to one neutralize some of that cooler tone that can cause the color to recede from the eyes and just make it feel a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more appealing. So finding a good true cool tone can be a little difficult, but with some obsessive shopping and swatching and help from your favorite YouTube creator, you can hopefully find the right color without having to spend your own money on it. Let's take a look at these two L'Oreal Color Reach lipsticks. I have the shade 258 and 129, and I can read that this one says Berry Blush, but the name under 129, it starts with an M and it looks like it ends with an E, but I can't really make out the rest. So 129, 258, we are gonna start with 129. This is beautiful. This is again, a muted, mauvey, pink plum color. It is just so beautiful, so easy to wear. It adds this slightly gothic edge to the look. And back during the holiday season, I loved layering this with the Tom Ford lipstick that, oh, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was this one right up here. I would layer them together and it was so, so pretty. This is going to be a stunning color, soft muted summer. Cool true summer could also make this work. And I feel like this would look stunning on deep dark winter. It's just gonna give you that chic Wednesday Adams vibe. And then the next shade we have is 258 Berry Blush L'Oreal Color Riche beautiful vibrancy. This is going to be a really beautiful color that can be worn by all cool tone seasons. All of your summer seasons is going to make this work. And I feel like for your winter colors, this is one of those things that's going to act as a more subtle flush of color on the lips. It's going to give you that pop, that kind of healthy vitality that just feels very easy to wear. Whereas for summer, it's going to be a little bit more drama. This is going to be like another kind of red alternative for a light summer. This could be a little bit more more of a daily wear color for a cool, true summer. And for a soft muted summer, this is gonna be that lively pop when you have that day and you just feel like all of your colors are muted and gray and you wanna add a little bit of va va boom. Something like the L'Oreal 258 Berry Blush will give you that pop of color. Think of this as the summer alternative to a Taylor Swift red lipstick. Cool summer, light summer mix over here. And now we're gonna take a look at Bobbi Brown to finish off these lipsticks. Two from the crushed lipstick and we're gonna start with blondie pink Blondie Pink, it's a fairly neutral lipstick. For me, it can pull a little warm. Here, it feels pretty smack in the middle of the road of neutral. It does have a muted aspect to it. So this is again, one of those colors I feel like it's be great for a soft summer. And then we have Blue Raspberry. If you are someone who is a soft summer or deep winter and you want soft girl aesthetic meets Wednesday Adams soft goth makeup, this is another great color to go for. These are the newest lipsticks to the Bobbi Brown lipstick range, and these are the Luxe lipsticks. So let's take a look at the two shades I have. I have number 309 Pale Mauve, and then I have 311 Pink Cloud. We're going to take a look at the first color I bought, which is going to be Pale Mauve number 309 in my light spring video. I was talking about the pale mauve compared to, oh, where'd it go? All of my lipsticks have blended together. <laughs> uh, I think it's down here. I 
I think this is the Huda Beauty Angel Lipstick. So I remember I was trying to figure out which was better for light spring, which was better for light summer. So we had the Pale Mauve from Bobbi Brown, and then we had the Angel from Huda Beauty. I remember that video, I thought Angel was better for light spring, and then Pale Mauve was gonna be better for light summer. But this is another color that you have to be careful with, depending on your skin tone, your lip color, your lip liner, and the rest of your makeup. It can either pull more warm or more cool. I pair this thing with Huda Beauty Muted Pink Lip Pencil, and I'll pair this with more of like a dolly pinky blush that makes this feel more pink. I'm gonna section this with my light summer lipsticks, and this is Bobbi Brown Luxe Lipstick in the shade 309 Pale Mauve. Bobbi Brown Luxe Lipstick in 311 or 311 Pink Cloud, and this is the most recent lipstick in general to my collection. This is much more cool toned, and we finally have a true or cool summer lipstick in our arsenal. So I like to use this for a cool true, actually hold on. So this is another interesting one on the back of my hand where my skin tone is more neutral with some slight yellow surface tones from sun damage. This does pull slightly warmer, but depending on your lip color, your lip pencil, all that good stuff, this can look a little bit more warm or a little bit more cool. I'm gonna section this into my light summer collection and again, this is the Bobbi Brown Luxe Lipstick in 311 Pink Cloud. Since I didn't have a ton of the sheer shiny lipsticks, I'm going to just go ahead and place my creamy lipsticks in here. So here are all of my light summer and cool summer lipsticks so far. And then these are my soft summer lipsticks so far. I feel like so far there are too many soft summer lipsticks to make these to combine the two so I'm just gonna give them their own little section all right so in comparison here's my soft summer lipsticks I feel like if you were a soft summer makeup wearer then this is going to be quite helpful for you and it just kind of shows you like how different color palettes they're a little bit more easy to shop for than some of the other ones these are my matte lipsticks so these are pretty much gonna give you a full coverage off the bat let's start from right here I have got two lipsticks from Shiseido these are both the Shiseido Modern Matte Powder Lipstick. I have shade number 506 Disrobed and 518 Selfie. So let's start with 506 Disrobed. This is going to feel like a soft summer lipstick. It's matted, it's more mid-tone. It's got some type of browniness to it, which makes me almost want to put in autumn. I feel like Disrobed would be better for a deep dark winter, or in my personal opinion, I really want to set it with deep dark autumn. Because I just feel like it doesn't have that same kind of plumminess that we found through some of our other soft summer lipsticks. So I'm going to move the Shiseido Modern Matte Powder Lipstick and disrobe to deep autumn and that brings us to number 518 selfie and selfie is a lot more plummy pink this was one i found on sale at duty free this screams cool true summer if you are a cool true summer and you want a little bit of color you want a nice sangria berry lip check out the shiseido powder matte lipstick and selfie 518 what do we have here? Charlotte's Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk, the original Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is an interesting shade. It's almost like a chameleon shade because depending on your lips, it can look a little bit more warm, a little bit more cool. For me, this pulls very, very warm and I feel like it excels as a soft autumn lipstick. So I'm going to move Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution Lipstick in the original Pillow Talk shade to soft autumn. We have my other NARS lipstick. This is a matte lipstick in the shade Raw Love. This is a shade I saw a lot of vlogs say was one of the best soft summer lipsticks. If this is a soft summer lipstick, it scares me. It is a plum gray charcoal color and it it just makes me look corpse sick. It is not flattering. It's just, it's, it's not me. It drains all of the life from my face and 
I ordered this online and I never returned it. So I'm gonna hang on to it because I paid for a NARS lipstick that I don't like and I didn't return it because I don't like returning things because it makes me feel bad because I know they just get thrown away. NARS matte lipstick in raw love. Soft summer if you like a purpley gray lipstick. Next we have one from a Korean beauty brand. This is Biba or BBIA. Last powder lipstick 08 Earl Grey little bit more of a neutral color. This is feeling very orangey though. When I look at this compared to some of the other colors, it's like a medium muted rosy orange. And this is giving me all of the soft summer or soft autumn moving into deep autumn lipstick territory. I need to compare this before I make a final decision and get something more cool toned. So you know what, we are gonna use NARS Raw love. I feel like that's unfair because just the contrast is going to make any type of warmth in this really come forward. Maybelline Lust for Blush. The Biba or BBIA is definitely warm. That's gonna go into my autumn section. NARS Raw Love is definitely staying a soft summer, deep winter color. And now we've got Maybelline Lust for Blush. This is a color sensational matte lipstick and Lust for Blush is number 665. Do we have a drugstore dupe for the Shiseido? A little bit lighter, more purple than berry. I feel like this is a good color for a cool, true summer. Also, your light summers could work with it. If a light summer wanted more of a vampy look, they could work with this. And a soft summer could make this work as like a pop of color every day. Like a really fun alternative to a traditional red lip. It's gonna give you a little bit more pizzazz and kind of like, oh, what is that color you're wearing? That's cute. I'm gonna put this with my cool, true summers. Two Lisa Eldridge Velvet Lip Colors. Velvet Muse. Another one of those colors that kind of teeters into that Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk range. It's fairly neutral, but it pulls so dark. And I always just feel like I am having my 1990s grunge era. My lips enter the room before I do. And I just feel very, very self-conscious. This is gonna kind of teeter into that deep, dark, soft muted territories. So I'm gonna move this to deep, dark winter because I feel like if I leave it a soft summer, I am never gonna reach for it. So Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse could work for a soft summer, soft autumn, but I feel like it's going to excel for at least fair to light skin tones as a deep winter or deep autumn color. Velvet Blush Lightly. It's that similar thing. It just feels very dark on the lips, just like the luxuriously lucent. You can kind of tap it, but even tapping it or doing a light wash and then rubbing to blend the color out, it still ends up feeling very like Victorian dolly on my skin. If you're someone who likes that dramatic, almost romantic meets gothic style of blush draping or that kind of Jane Austen cheek, this is a really beautiful sheared out cheek color. I feel like my thoughts have changed. I'm going to put Lisa Eldridge Velvet Blush Lightly into Deep Winter and I'm going to move Velvet Muse into Deep Autumn. I keep looking at this. This makes me so happy. This is a limited edition lipstick from MAC. This is a matte formula in collaboration with Richard Quinn. If I'm not mistaken, he is a designer and the shade is called Rose Daydream. But look at this. Oh, that's shameful. My bullet is messy because I use it. <laughs> so I love this. You have this really cute pink base, pastel pink, and you have this beautiful rose floral background and then the bullet section of the component is this black and white polka dot. It's just so whimsical and ditzy and fun. I love it. If it wasn't a limited edition, I would reach for it quite often. Muted, slightly grayish pink and I love this for all summer seasons. It's going to look a little bit more muted, a little bit more subdued. So if I feel like if you're wearing a very colorful eye as a light summer, this is a great color to wear. If you're 
going to wear a little bit more of a sub do dye, or if you want something just a little bit easier, this is really pretty for a soft muted summer, or as a great everyday all occasion lipstick as a cool true summer. This would work really, really beautifully. Again, this is the MAC by Richard Quinn Lipstick. It's a matte formula, and the shade is called Rose Daydream. Three MAC Powder Kiss. The first one we are going to take a look at is called Ripened. Sadly, this was discontinued. This is a really beautiful, soft summer color. I'm gonna move this to my makeup archive section, but if you were a soft summer and you wanna try a purpley lipstick, you could either go for the Revlon Mauve or you could try this one out, but just check, keep an eye out for the cosmetic company outlet for a color like this. The next one I have is called Sultriness. And this is one that kind of moves in and out of stock here and there. It reminds me of a more matte finished, more pink version of a lipstick MAC had called Crosswires slightly muted orange and this one is like a slightly muted pink with a just just a little bit of warmth great for a soft muted summer light summer could work with this if you want more of a mid-tone matte lip but for me i feel like this excels for soft summer so that is mac powder kiss and sultriness also beautiful blush color and that's something that's great with the mac powder kiss formula these are just insanely beautiful as blusher colors and this one is called Burning Love. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Deeper reddened lum. It's gonna give you that berry sangria quality to the lip color. I love this for any summer season that wants a cool, vampy lip color. This is gonna do really well for a cool, true summer or soft muted summer. Typically, these really dark shades aren't going to look the best on a light summer, but this color paired with a light hair because a lot of times you know you see the, tr the traditional like light summer being like fair skinned blonde hair light eyes and if you pair someone like that with this lip i think about this past year at the met gala amanda seyfried or the actress who played sabrina spellman in the chilling adventures of sabrina on netflix she wore a deep berry lipstick and this gives me that kind of vibe cool true summer or soft muted summer also really beautiful on all winter color palettes MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick in Burning Love. A MAC Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Soar. Beautiful shade. I love this shade for deeper skin tones. When I was working for MAC, specifically my time at MAC at Nordstrom, medium into dark skin tones. One of those colors that almost feels like a nude, but if you build it up, pair it with a nice liner, like you pair MAC Soar Lipstick with Night Moth or Current Lip Pencil. It is just such a beautiful combination. It is just, it's a really beautiful, easy reach for shade for medium to darker skin. For me, with fair skin, this is a statement. Like if I thought Burning Love was a statement, one Suku lipstick, and this was kindly gifted to me, number 114, and this is a sheer matte lipstick. And this formula was very reminiscent of the MAC Powder Kiss. It is a little bit more sheer. You muted, Lummy color. Really love this for cool, true summer, leaning into soft muted summer. So I'm gonna pair this with my soft muted summer lipsticks. Armani Lip Power Lipstick. This is number 109, part of the shade expansion, summer, fall, 2022. This is in shade 109, Intimate. Muted brownie pink, easy to wear lip color, mauve muted pink color. Soft summer, also great for deep winter. Lipstick I really enjoyed and I wore it quite a bit and then I put it in my drawer and I forgot it. Things that happen when you tidy up. Are you like me? Do you tidy things up and you get everything organized perfectly and then you forget about it? L'Oreal Color Riche Le Nude in number 113 Admirable very similar to the Armani 109. This is be more cool toned for deep dark winter or soft muted autumn. Mood matte lipstick. This is from Etude 09. 
I'm gonna say this again is going to be a color probably work best for a soft muted summer or summer mute, but I feel like this could also play well with cool summer. So I'm gonna sort that one over on this side, a new one of those to add in. So let's take a look at Bobbi Brown, Lux Matte Lipsticks, Nude Reality, Bobbi Brown Lux Matte Lipstick, Neutral Leaning Warm Pink. This is gonna be one of those colors that's great for a soft autumn or soft summers. The Bobbi Brown Lux Matte Lip Color in Boss Pink. This is something that could possibly work for a cool, true summer when paired with the right kind of makeup look and lip liner, but I feel like this is going to excel for soft muted summer and deep winter. Peripera Mood Matte Lipsticks. Let's start with the one that was not part of the Pink Tourist Collection, and that is going to be number 02. It does not say the name, but I've done an entire Instagram post swatching all these. So Peripera Mood Matte Ink Stick in 02. Really beautiful, soft, muted summer color. 09. This is part of the Peripera Pink Tourist Collection, which was spring summer 2022 whole summer but this could also work really well for i would say light summer or soft summer i've worn this quite a few times it's really pretty i'm gonna move that over here next we have shade number 10. this is gonna be a little bit more on the neutral warm side you can see it's very similar to shade number nine but a kiss warmer so this is gonna be a good one for soft muted summer leaning into soft autumn and then that leaves us with shade number 11. and this is the fun bright pop of color I've used this a few times as a center of the lip brightening shade. Really beautiful muted mid-tone pink and it has a nice cool undertone and I love this for cool true summer. Let's move this over here. The final three matte lipsticks. These are all three from the brand Roman and these are the Zero Matte Lipsticks. They reformulated these. I can't remember if they reformulated or reimagined these in the end of 2021 or 2022. But let's go through. I have shades. 4, 0, 1, and 10. So let's start off with shade 0, 1 muted brownie red. That's gonna go into my autumn drawer. Let's take a look at the Zero Matte Lipstick in the shade 04, which is called Before Sunset. And I remember on the Roman website, they mentioned this is a good point color or center of an ombre color for cool toned skin. Oh, that is so pretty, yes. This is definitely a lot cooler. I feel like this is gonna work really well for true cool summer, true cool winter color. I, and it's not as like intense as like some of the ones up here, although it does now feel very similar to the one from Etude, but a kiss, just a kiss, teeny tiny little peck on the cheek, <laughs> cooler. So I'm gonna move that over here. And that brings me to shade number 10, which is my favorite of the three a muted nudie ink. It's almost like a little salmon. It's more on that neutral side, depending on your coloring again. It can go a little bit more warm, a little bit more cool. I like this a lot. I'm gonna move this over here. And seeing this now, I do see more of that cool tone coming through. It's almost settled. On my hand, it feels almost cool, like almost like a little bit of a reddened plum raisin color. So I'm gonna move this over to Soft Summer. That has completed the matte lipsticks. I'm that was a ton of lipsticks and I'll also, if you're wondering why I, I, I look the way I do, I was working on finishing my video and I'm getting ready to leave for a friend's birthday party and the entire video was blue. I had to redo all the color correction and then I lost my intro and the outro. So you were seeing me right now. I don't even know what time it is. Last time I looked at the clock, it was like 6.15 in this video. I said it was gonna go up at six. So thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for being so wonderful. I hope you found all of the cool toned summer color palette lipsticks to be as enjoyable as I did. I loved editing this video because I hope you all have an incredible incredible rest of the day wherever it is you are in the world. And until next time, I hope you're taking extra good care of yourself. Bye y'all.